So guys, I'm making a Travis Scott type beat. Travis just released an album called Jack Boys. And I thought instead of just making a beat, why not sample something from the album, right? And the perfect thing to sample, I thought, was the beginning part. His album is pretty good. It had like seven songs. One of them was Highest in the Room as a remix. And then the other one was this, the intro. Right, so that has no <laughs> lyrics or anything like that, so I can remix it. I don't want to get sued, so when I'm going to do this, I'm going to pitch it down or up so I don't get sued or copyright. Let's get into making the beat. So, if I'm sampling something, I like to find the tempo first. And I need to cut out the end or beginning where there's nothing. So that goes hard. It's, uh, I found a tempo. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so I need to put that into one, record it into Edison, change that to on play, change that, press record, play it. Okay, so I recorded the whole thing. Now I need to cut out the song jump. Just scroll all the way in here. That should be good enough. Exit that. And then use this button, drag sample, and drag it into the playlist. Now the full thing without all the beginning and end parts. And now I'm gonna go into pattern mode and get fruity slicer. Instead of unsorted, I'm gonna change that to all. Take the thing that I just recorded in Edison and put it put it into the fruity slicer. So now that I got that, I'm gonna change the slicing to beat. Put the attack a little bit up. The tone again. All right? So now with this, I can just sample it. All right? I can do whatever I want. But for this, I'm gonna get my keyboard. The Akai MPK20 or MIDI. Yeah, I'm not sponsored, but so I'm gonna just play around with it and I'll come back when I have something. Okay, so I got a pretty good sample. I chopped it up and I think it sounds pretty good. Put it into the mixer track as some. Um, effects to it you know rc20 okay so i added some effects i added an rc20 retro color added a valhalla vintage verb um and fruity love filter and yeah so now I'm going to add maybe a counter melody and then the drums. Okay, so since we're trying to make Travis Scott sound happier because he's super sad, I'm using major chords. Okay, so I think that sounded pretty happy, you know? Okay, so my camera cut out. Um, I'm gonna continue on the 808.
okay, I have the airway down, now I add a kick. perks and then I think the drum will be done. take a long time so you'll probably see me when I'm done if I okay so I'm done the xylophone part it sounds like this I also pitched everything down to I think or what So the xylophone's done, it sounds like this. Okay, now everything's done, I'm gonna just put everything into the mixer and mix, that's what the mixer's for. I turn every sound down to 12 and then after that I mix everything from the Except for the 808s and the kicks. I put those to 9. I almost forgot my own rule. I just like when the kick and the 808 slap hard. Sometimes I put the clap. I'm probably going to do it this time. Okay, so everything's at 12, and after that, I put the master all the way up, turn the polarity, do the separation to stereo, and then mix everything from there. Turn everything down a little bit, just so it has some headroom, and then try to make the kick and 808 the loudest thing. Play the kick and then the 808.
reset the master. Use this ozone eight elements. It masters or mixes it for you. And you press master assistant. And then you turn the sealer all the way up and hit it until it starts to See that's too much. So now I'm gonna arrange the beat, put everything in, drag everything to eight bars, duplicate it a little bit. I use, I duplicate it by doing Command A or Control A, and then Command B or Control B, and I'll arrange it. Now we're gonna make the intro half time. I'll make it a little bit faster. And at halftime on the um, accordion, yeah, that's what it's called. And I'll put an automation clip so it fades in and fades out for some of the parts. Mm -hmm. bah. Bah. So here. Okay, so B is pretty much done. I'm gonna get this as a reference. This is what we started off with. And then I turn it into this. And now it's like a little Uzi slash little Mozi type beat. Okay, so like, subscribe, um, go to my beat store to buy some beats, link in the description. And yeah, follow, comment what you want to see next. Yeah, yeah, I hope you liked it. This is if Travis Scott.